How you doing out there? You ever seem to have one of those days where it just seems like everybody's getting on your case from your teacher all the way down? Here's part two in our series on making an engraved sign, and today we're going to cut the vector file on our test piece of plywood. Shaper is really nice in that you can simply upload your vector file, which I have here at the top, onto the Shaper Hub, and it's able to be downloaded directly into your Shaper machine. Now we set up our 24 by 12 inch test piece of plywood on the bottom with some Shaper tape on it, which is what the machine uses for orientation, and a standard 2 by 2 sheet I've got above it, again, for orientation. This is what that vector file looks like on the Shaper screen. All the green are the lines we can cut, and we're going to use a 45 degree V-bit at 0.03 inches, which is fairly typical for engraving. And see how that turns out. When you go to a line and you're ready to cut, the line turns into a dashed line, and that will be the line you cut, and it changes colors once it has been cut. So you know of all these various lines I have in the A10, which have been cut and which haven't. Here we're cutting one of the lines and you can see the bit goes down and I move it in a general direction but the machine will keep moving the bit to stay directly on the line it needs to. And as we get to the end of the line we hit the retract button and we're ready to start onto a new line. This is what it looks like with a few of the lines cut. This is what it looks like with all the lines cut. So next, we're going to start painting and finishing and trying out how we're going to do that. Thanks again for watching. Let us know if there's anything that we can do for you.